What we're going to show today is a continuous mixer and the S340 stucco pump. This is innovative in the industry because this is a 110 volt setup as the pump and the mixer are 110 volts so you can plug them into any household current, any job current, basically anywhere you have electricity this machine will work. Uh, we actually have the, a setup exactly like this on a 32-story high-rise in Dallas, Texas. Uh, the reason they're utilizing this is because they can take the dry bags of material, drop them in here, they spit out wet into the pump, and they can pump on a high-rise from the floors. A typical application for high-rise construction would be a Tommy gun, which is a four to 6,000 pound trailer-mounted pump on the ground pumping to a three inch standpipe, metal standpipe, going up the side of the building. From that they pull the hose off and then they shoot the stucco on the outside of the building. Why is that hard to do? Well just imagine the pressures of pushing the head of material up to the point where you utilize it. There's uh, instances of packing, high pressure, it's very dangerous and very hard to get the setup exactly right. So now what we can do is we can take a pallet of sanded materials, put it on an elevator or a crane, wheel it up to the floor we need it to and load it on that floor. Then we can use this 110 pump and 110 mixer to mix on the floor with a hundred foot of hose. Now we can go out a window or a door onto the scaffolding on a high rise and be able to pump a high rise from the individual floors. You can go up a couple floors, down a couple floors, and then make a move. So it just makes a, it, a much cleaner application, much safer application, and you're not utilizing a footprint on the ground. Typically, if you have a trailer, you have a sand pile, you have materials, it uses up a large area of the ground. Uh, many of these high rises are in downtown metropolitan areas where we do not have the luxury of having a large job site, so it becomes a problem. So now we can fly all the material up with a crane or an elevator, get it on the floors and pump high rises. Uh, that's just one application. This works great for homes, this works great for commercial buildings, any place you want to utilize a pump. Um, now this pump will put out about half of the production of a larger pump, but you only need half the crew. So you're still going to get, the rule of thumb in plastering is 100 yards per man per day on the wall. Um, by hand, that's very difficult to achieve. With a pump, it's very easy to achieve. Each pallet of pre-sanded material will pump a hundred yards on the wall. So now if it pumps a pallet an hour, a hundred yards an hour, so basically in an eight hour day you're going to get roughly 600 yards on the wall. With this particular application we just want the bottom third of the hopper full. The reason for that is the dry material enters this 16 inch mixing chamber and goes out. Typically, when you have a drum type mixer, which you may see in the background there, uh, you mix with water, you mix the material, and then you turn the blades off and let the material take an initial set. All concrete, all cement products have an initial set period. Then you turn the blades back on and break the set. With this configuration, you do not have that luxury of having an ability to break the, the initial set. So. It mixes here, drops in, and it'll set in the hopper if the hopper's entirely full. Now that said, if you just keep the hopper a third full or a fourth full, as the material goes through the piston pump and into the hose, it'll remix again and break that initial set. So you're not compromising the integrity of the material by not breaking the initial set because it does happen throughout the process of the pump. Uh, let's talk about this pump a little bit. Why, why is this pump better than the, the other small pumps that are on the market? Well, this is the first of its kind. It is a piston pump. Piston means you can get much more pounds per square inch pressure out of a given power system. So we can get 600 PSI out of this. A typical rotor stator, which, is, uh, which has been used in the industry, will produce approximately 300 PSI. What does that mean? Further hose lengths, uh, the ability to go vertically, I personally have gone 150 foot, 60 foot high with this configuration and pumped beautifully. Uh, Graco recommends 100 feet and the reason we recommend 100 feet because that's where we test a, a wide variety of materials and everything we test is at 100 feet of hose. Um, I do have a guy in Texas running 200 feet of hose. but. 
you, you know, you can use that up to your discretion. If things are going well at 100 feet, that's up to you. But we know it'll pump most materials at 100 feet and pump at the, at the output that it was designed to pump at. 